chapter 3, lesson 2, is multiplying by two-digit numbers. So, it's now getting harder. Okay, so, which means, again, we need to remember our all our multiplication tables. We have to also remember that if it's computational math, we can actually just write it horizontally. But if it can't be done with a head, then that means it's computational. So that means we have to write it vertically. Okay, so um, again, we need to remember our pairings. So 9 and 1, 8 and 2, 7 and 3, 6 and 4, and 5 and 5. So these are very important. Okay, so... Um, the first set of problems that I will be discussing deals with zeros. And the second set of problems that I will be discussing have no zeros. Okay, so the thought process is slightly different. So again, when there are zeros, what we want to do is multiply without the zeros. And then just put the zeros in the end. So to demonstrate these, these are on page 58. Okay. Okay, so if we start with E, clearly these have zeros. So the first thing that we're going to do is I can multiply 7 times 3, that's 21. And then I'm going to count the number of zeros. There's three zeros, so I'll follow with the three zeros. So that can be written horizontally because I can do it mentally. Okay, similarly, there's a 5 times 2, which is 10. Followed by one, two, three more zeros. So again, that can be done mentally. However, in the next two problems, it's harder to do mentally. So what we will do is we will do without the zero. So that means 78 times 6. Okay, so when we multiply 6 by 8, that will be 48. Okay, so which means 6 times 7 is 42 plus 4 is 46. So what we will do is that will be 4, 6, 8, and 1, 0. So when we multiply those, those will be 4,680. Okay, and finally for this set of problems, I can't do that mentally, so I'll take 1, 6, 9 times 2. Okay, so that will be 18, carry the 1, that will be 2 times 6 is 12, plus 1 is 13, carry the 1, and that will be 3. So which means our final answer will be 338 with an additional 0, making it 3,380. So again, the process when there's 0 is slightly different when there's no zeros which I will show shortly. Continuing on to page 62, it says multiply. Okay, so clearly all of these you can't do mentally. Okay, and it involves the multiplication of two numbers. Okay, so that means when we write it down, we want the bigger number on top, always. So that's 43 times 21. Okay, so the process begins with multiplying the ones across. So that's 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 4 is 4. Okay, then we multiply the 2s to the, the 2 to the 3 and then the 2 to the 4. So 2 times 3 is 3. 6 and we put it in the inside one place over. Okay, then this will be 2 times 4 which is 8. Okay, after we multiply, the process is now to add. Okay, so which means 3 and nothing is 3. Then when we add, we have to be consistent. We start with a bigger number, 6, add 4, that makes it 10. And then we carry or we regroup. So therefore, this is 9. So when we multiply 43 by 21, the product is 903. 
Okay, for letter F, it says to multiply 56 by 124. So again, for consistency, we start with the bigger number on top multiplied by 56. So we start the ones digit, we multiply, so that means this will be 6 times 4 is 24. Okay, then this will be 6 times 2 is 12 plus 2 is 14. Okay, then 6 times 1 is 6 plus 1 is 7. Okay, so if your kids are on the careless side, my suggestion is cancel those so that the new regrouping will not confuse the kids. Okay, so again, now we take the tens and we multiply. So that's why we can't start with the underneath the four. It has to start on the tens place. Okay, so that means this is five times four is 20. Carry two. Five times two is 10 plus the two is 12. Okay, and five times one is five plus one is six. Okay, and then again, we add. So when we add, this is four, four, nine, and six. So the product of 56 and 124 is 6,944. Okay, and finally, in letter G, it says product or multiply 591 by 78. So again, cannot do mentally 591 times 78. Starting with the ones, 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 9 is 72. Okay, and 8 times 5 is 40 plus 7 is 47. So again, the kids should know how to do that first step. Okay, so the second step now is 7 times 1. So I'm going to cross out first. Okay, so 7 times 1 is 7. And then 7 times 9 is 63. So this is 3 and a 6. And nine, 7 times 5 is 35 plus a 6. So that means if it's 35 plus 6, I need 5 more to get to 40. And an extra one, that makes it 41. Okay, so which means now again, we add. So when we add 8 and nothing is 8, we start with a bigger one for consistency. 7 plus 2 is 9. We start with a bigger one. 7 plus 3 is 10. Carry or regroup. So that means this will be 4 plus 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6 and 4. Making our final answer 46,098. So... Again, if we are consistent in the way that we solve, it shouldn't be very hard. That concludes lesson two of chapter three. See you in the next lesson.